What's up, Piper Drivers? We are back for another reaction video to The Bad Batch. Looking forward to this episode as last week felt pretty good, but we know that final part, you know, we, we, we got that tease. And, and I'm going to get into that with that is in just a second, but let me introduce my co-host for today. We got my man Ralph in the house. What's up, buddy? How you doing? What's up, brother? Thanks for having me. Super excited to be here. Can't wait for the Harbinger episode. It, looking, it looks awesome, at least by title, because I haven't seen anything. It's not right? sending us stuff, guys. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. We get contacted a lot. I've been trying to avoid uh, the internet all day because yeah. I didn't want to get spoiled like I did last week. Yep. Um, last week's episode for us felt a little bit like a filler. Uh, I, yeah. you know, in in retrospect, when I went back and took a look at it, I, I do feel like there was some character development that was really good. Uh, I like what happened with um, Crosshair and Omega. You know, and yep. how we're, we're developing that. Um, and then also, uh, Wrecker and, 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 uh, and, uh, Hunter, uh, went out for more information about what M count is. And, and they ended up with a, right. an adventure with Fennec. Uh, yeah, it was Fennec yeah. Shan and it was, uh, Space Florida. That right, played. right, right. Yeah, I remember that. Airboat and all. Crazy True. gators. True. It, I mean, it was, it was, a, it was a cool episode. I just, it, I felt like it didn't push, uh, the envelope that much. Um, but at the end, you know, thanks to one of our commenters, they, they let us know that the music that was being played was Asajj Ventress. So I'm fully expecting Asajj Ventress in this I, episode. I am too, because I'm when, when that person gave you that information, you shared it on the Thursday show, yeah. which I hadn't read the comment yet. I'm like, okay, now when you play the two sounds, I'm like, okay, that does make sense that Asajj would be the person. But if we hadn't seen that, it felt like an episode, like we started on a mission and we ended exactly the same place we don't have anything. And that's where I was like, True. all right, this is a filler, like Frankie said, but it wasn't the best type of filler like we had on the last, the last one we had, which was uh, the one that they went back to the space. I mean, the snow planet. Right. And they had the, the doom worm, the doom snow worm, you know, or whatever. Yeah. They, but we had character development. We had the brothers, you know, realizing each other, they were both wrong. And mm -hmm. I felt this episode didn't give us something like that. But True. It's, it's some people, you know, that's their choice, but that's awesome. It's still Star Wars. That's all right. that matters. Yeah, I, I still like the episode. Yeah. I, I, I would say that the episode wasn't one of the stronger ones, but it still was pretty good. Uh, and I think that this episode right here is probably going to be the one that redeems the previous episode. So having them, they did the, I think these two probably work together as a, as a good story arc is what I'm hoping for anyway, especially if Asajj Ventures is in this episode. So I wonder uh, if, excited. if my idea or my thought of the previous episode is going to change after seeing this and saying maybe they should have released these two together like next week is a two-parter as well right right you know? and sometimes right. like even like with the release of these guys on the x-men the first two episodes were released it made sense and when the bad batch did that it made right. sense and maybe that's this is one of those episodes that would have benefited from that but i'll tell you after this the screenwriter uh teased something uh last night that in on twitter and she just put hashtag uh weeping or you know so um really? so i don't know yeah so i don't know what to really expect from this one uh she just said that the next episode is not like the others and then that and all she put was weeping was was uh was the tease wow. so, frankie if frankie's you know his his prophecy comes true i'm gonna be pissed that frankie's not on this episode <laughs> hopefully it's not that because i don't want to see you know, Wreck or Die or Hunter for that matter, or, you know, right. Omega. I really want them to go all the way to the bitter end. But sure. um, I am all down for an emotionally charged episode, which really gets you to like an Empire Strikes Back scene with like, oh my God. That's right. that's what I want. True. Yeah, that's I definitely I want. want something like that. Yeah. All right. So if you guys tune in later on tonight, we will have the Cantina chat where we'll be getting into more of this hopefully we'll have the rest of the guys with us at that point uh so tune in that's 8 p.m eastern standard time right back here on the channel and we'll cover this and some star wars news and we'll have some off the wall discussions about collecting uh as it's uh, going down right now because we do have some uh, really interesting things that have happened uh this past week but okay. right now let's get into the bad batches because i've been waiting all week for this let's do this the harbinger you notice how this is looking a lot more gray yeah Usually it's very sunny in this planet. Maybe it's seasons. They got seasons now. Very overcast. Oh, look at that. You made a new friend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Still no word from Fennec. Since when?
I'm still amazed that one guy plays all these voices. Unbelievable. Just like my dog. <laughs> oh, he's not feeling whatever's in that cave. No. What is it? What? Oh. Wow. Where did that come from? Oh shoot. Where are you going? That's just like I ain't going there. Oh. Jesus. Ah. <laughs> That's a good dog. Yeah, right. You heard her. Let her go. Gladly. Mm. In our face. I hear you've been asking questions about M counts. Very reckless to inquire about such things. Talk or I go. <laughs> <laughs> It's something in the blood. Those with a high count were believed to be more capable of wielding the force. Yes. The force. You're saying Not I'm the time. Jedi? Uh, uh. I mean, <laughs> of course not. Please. No one's been able to give me answers. I need to know what I am. Hmm. Fine. It shouldn't be too hard. I mean, like, they just break Dan again. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, she got her train like Mr. Miyagi. I mean, this doesn't really test her midi chlorine count. No, you're focused on the wrong thing. Try again. Come on, Omega, you can do it. <laughs> Why don't you two make yourselves scarce? You I'm glad she still has that award winning personality. Yeah, but I you're right. It's her. I don't know. Uh oh. She, she knows. There's a weeping Maya tree up in the colony. Retrieve one of its white blossoms and return before the sun. How does she know that? Now that she's gone, <laughs> let me give you some advice. Some F with Whatever me. you're <laughs> planning on doing. Hey girl, I'm gonna need some help. I need to get to the acumen fast. Isn't that cheating? Okay, let's go. But she's communicating with an animal like our boy Ezra. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Dude, they're standing like leave. I'll hmm. consider it. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <No> <laughs> Man, she's taking it to him. Damn. She's, she's been keeping up with her training. Oh, she's still been bounty oh, hunting. She, she smacked him in the face. Yeah. Damn. Oh, oh, oh. No, just, these guys can't compete with her in combat oh. like this. Oh, bro. That was she cool. She just did a wrestling move. Oh, she caught it. Oh, she caught it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, theme music. Yeah, I said she could dodge all these bullets. These guys are good. Are good oh, oh, that's, that's my girl. I wasn't planning on killing you, but you're making it very tempting. <laughs> We're good like that. We're <laughs> good like that. <laughs> oh, crap. What criminal? Times have changed. They're all war criminals, dude. Something you clone should be familiar Yeah, they're with. war criminals now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> No chaperones. I like her outfit. Nope. Yeah, me too. There's no distraction. It's very clean. Stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs> <It's unsettling>. <laughs> <laughs> you should be out there with her. We gave Omega our word we wouldn't intervene. You <laughs> How does she know we're watching? She's <laughs> like, oh! Get it. Giving up so soon. How to tap into it. That is true. Mm. Content with that. Perhaps this is a waste of time. Oh, wow. Like bioluminescent. Yeah. Creatures. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, he's a bigger fish. Always. What the hell is that? Oh, dang. Oh. Oh, wow. That looks good. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> that was dope. Oh, wow. I guess he dodged the one tentacle and... Yeah. Oh, I like how the shell, you see how the shell yeah. changes color? That's cool. Yeah. I like how they have that connection there. See? There he because, is. Yeah. Picked her up. The way Crosshair is acting with her there, he's yeah. becoming more, um, a father. more like a big brother. A, a big brother, not father. Yeah. Hunter's a father. See, for that, I, I get why they had last week's episode, you know? Do I have a high end count? From what I've seen? No. <laughs> Then I think she's lying. Mm, I think she is lying. From the whole Neo and, and the Oracle thing, you know? Uh-huh. You're not the one. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah, it is. There he goes. About which part? If Omega did have that potential, she'd have to be trained. Which would she'd mean leave you. leaving you behind. Yeah. That's the fact is the Empire is after her. And they won't stop. You're not worried about the Empire coming after you? But I've got a few lives left. <laughs> That's very good. That is a cool ship. Kind of reminds me of, uh, of a the B wing. wing. Yeah. yeah. Should we get a teaser for next yeah. week? I wish they would do that. Yeah. No, it's it. Okay. Dave. Yeah. Kind of wish okay. they, they would do that sometimes, though, right? Like, like, uh, yeah, tune yeah. in next week as we continue on with the story yeah. of the clones. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You're gonna take so much more. Um, how'd you, you think it? I, I still think it was kind of fillerish. I but, think this episode fillerish. was kind of finished, fillerish. I, you know what? It, it's, it's not the show, it's not the episode's fault in this case. I, because of the, the trailer when they showed Asajj Ventress. It, I in my in my mind built it up a lot more. Yeah, you know, like I want to know how is she still alive? You know, considering the book. Yeah, um, considering the book, considering yeah. the relationship with Quinlan Voss, considering Quinlan Voss' name was in the Obi Wan series. Yeah, Master Voss was here. You know, when he was escaping through, I guess I can't remember the the little the way or whatever it was. When the lady from Game of Thrones brought him to that room and he started looking at the wall, yeah, yeah, people had a great. No, know, no, so... I remember what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, so I, I mean, I, based off that, I thought too, like you did, like she's in the middle of a battle. This isn't just her and yeah. the troopers, you know, the guys. Yeah, I, I, um, I built it up more, I think. Um, yeah, I, I am still. Though. Go ahead. I, I am happy that she's like, you got to leave space Greece. Mm -hmm. If I found you. They're gonna find you, and I hope they do, because it's not a retirement home for the clones. I I don't think it's wise for them to be there. Mm -hmm. I think they do need to be, not on the run, but it can't be there because all they're gonna bring is death and destruction. Mm -hmm. And if, if like she said, if I can find you here, they can surely find you. Right. All right. Here's what I like. Here, I mean, okay, I agree. I feel like I built it up more, and then you know, kind of. It kind of was a little, you know, it, in my mind, I saw this as being a lot more epic than than yeah. the other one I saw. But this seemed more like she just was training and that kind of thing. But here's what I do like. One, this reminds me a little bit of like how they introduced Boba Fett in The Mandalorian Season 2. You know, they brought Boba Fett in. They didn't explain how is he still alive. They didn't do anything else. He did some badass shit. So like you yep. saw Asajj Ventress, you know, beat up on the three clones. And yep. they did, you know, did a good job against the Bad Batch. So I think the fight scene they had there was pretty cool. Yep. Um, so I feel like this is a major tease, and we're gonna get more Asajj Ventures. We already know that um, that the, the actress said that expect more to come from Asajj Ventures. So I think that at least I'm hoping in Tales of the Jedi season two we're gonna see the oh, you know the backstory great. as to how she got to this point, or I I could even go for an entire you know, uh, mini series, you know, possible Amazon. like four or five episodes, maybe six episode run yeah. of the disciple of dark disciple, you know, and, yeah. and explain what happened there. That would be cool. Um, so I'm thinking that's a possibility. 
Another tease that I think could possibly come from this is that we now know that that Omega is force sensitive, and Asajj sees that maybe you know later on, you know, I mean, I'm 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 fully believing that Omega is not going to get killed off because they, they're going to they're going to take and 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 continue her story. Maybe she trains under Asajj Ventress. I I wouldn't mind that, you know, um, but I do like the fact that she pointed it out. You're going to have to make a hard decision. If she is force sensitive, like the Jedi, I mean, like the Empire believes, mm -hmm. and she is, you cannot train her. She needs someone like me or, you know, somebody with the same powers to train her. She could be trained as a clone because she is a clone and you guys are clones, but you can't do the force training, period. And I do hope that they continue Omega's story later on, even beyond Bad Batch Season 3. Like I said, even if it's a live action in the Mandoverse, or give me more animation. I am 100%, 1,000% able to take any animation that Disney gives us because it's always on par. Um, I do feel, you know, like you said, they didn't give us the full story of, of Asajj, but what we've seen of Asajj was in the trailer. Maybe there's more of her in Bad Batch Season 3 that we haven't even seen. Right. You know, like maybe we get more of her in this season. Which I hope so, because we're still expecting bounty hunters, and we just got the Asajj. Her character looked great. I like her style, the way they did, they redesigned her. Mm -hmm. uh, the yellow lightsaber was really cool. The curved hilt was really cool. Yeah, and I, I got to think her own. <laughs> she held her own against three defective clones, because she can hold her own against Anakin Skywalker. She can hold her own see. against all those people. Man. Yeah, she would have so taken up the clones. I, I love the fact that she she had the knife. She could have killed them. Mm -hmm. She's like, I'm not here for this, but don't make me. Right. Um, but I just... double down on what you were saying too about her, about them not being able to train her. Not just that they're not able to train her, they're not able to protect her. You know, no, if, if if this gets out right now, it's just the emperor. You know, it's not even the emperor, it's Hemlock and this crew Hemlock. trying to get it. So the emperor don't even know about this. So no. Hemlock is the one trying to get her right now. If Vader or any of the inquisitors find out about her, she's then on the list. Not, they're not going to be able to defend, they're not going to be able to protect her. I mean, no, they, could, they couldn't not... even deal with Asajj Ventress, let alone, you know, several Inquisitors coming after Correct, her. correct. So... They, can't, they can't deal with, they cannot deal with an Inquisitor, period. Mm -hmm. um, and Asajj proved that just by disarming them in, in a split second. Yeah. And fist fighting an, an Inquisitor who is out to kill you. Right. It's, it's not going to end well. You're going to end up stubby, you know. Because One other thing like your that I thought was really good about this episode is that we're seeing Omega... We're seeing Omega progress what I would feel is natural in learning how to become a force a wielder, right? Yeah. They, they didn't do like what other uh, series have done where just for plot reasons that they just all of a sudden made her capable of doing something with the force. I, I was happy that she wasn't floating in this, floating yeah. anything in this. She didn't make the dog float. She, she slipped. I'm happy about that because yeah. we do feel that she is force sensitive. And that they're taking their time to develop that. Yes. But if she is, if she is force sensitive, they've done it right. Whereas if they would have had her floating, look, I can float, boys, and look at the the dog. It's like, yeah, God damn yeah, it wouldn't have been cool that as much. Yeah. Can you lift the ship now? Yeah, look, I'm lifting the ship. No, that's not what we want. But I want yeah. her maybe to discover some ounce of it, kind of like we got with Finn at the end of the the last movie. Where he's like, I kind of felt something, but he didn't know how to describe it. But right. I felt something. If we could get something like that at the last episode of Bad Batch, where right. she's making something trouble, not a fool. I don't, I don't want that from her. I want to see right. her grow. And I, I think Filoni can do that correctly in another series, um, or even like you said, uh, the J Tales of the Jedi. Yeah, yeah. So that, Tales of the Jedi would be great. Yeah. Uh, so I, while I feel uh, like like this wasn't what I I would hope for, you know, but I kind yeah. of was hoping that they would explain all of this right now. But I, I mean, it was, I was it wasn't that, but I still think this was a good stepping stone to whatever's happening next. Next week we got a two part episode. That um, is identity crisis and point of no return. Identity two crisis episodes. point of no return. So. Yeah. So I, obviously, if they're giving us a two part, that usually means that we're getting a really killer episode next next uh, yeah. next week. So that would take us up to episode eleven, which this had fifteen. At the right. end of next week, Tuesday, that's episode eleven or Wednesday. Apologize. All right, all right. So that would leave Juggernaut into the breach, 
flash strike and the cavalry has a rocket. All right, man. Which will end on May the 1st. All right, so we'll, we'll see what's up. We'll see what's I, up. I just can't see what the lady, like the director or whatever, said weeping. You know what? Yeah, I don't get that. I mean, and I don't know if maybe she was talking about this episode or maybe she was talking about next episode. I, I, I don't get where we. I, I don't with. know. Um, maybe it was just I, if, if this is the first time where one of her projects are up, you know, like, or like maybe it, weeping for happiness that Asajj Ventures is back. You yeah, know, I mean, maybe that's yeah. what she meant by that. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I I, I want to. It's possible that they, or maybe she's talking about next week. I don't know. I don't know what the whole the whole teaser that was. I'm I'm, I'm happy that Asajj Ventures is back. Like I said, it just wasn't how I envisioned it. But Asajj I mean, needed to be back. She was a well built character. We yeah. saw her grow in the Clone Wars, and they brought her in from the 2D micro series, which was great. But I don't think she had enough time, even though she was in Clone Wars. When mm-hmm. Dooku had to get rid of her, and then she became a night sister. We saw that back. Yeah, I think they cut her, her story short right when it got interesting. I think is what happened. Like yeah. when, we, when we saw her as a bounty hunter in Clone Wars, you know, chasing after Ahsoka. Yeah, I was like, oh, this is dope. You know, so yeah. I, you know, we've been kind of cool. And unfortunately, what happened is that the 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 TV show got canceled. Yeah. Um, and that and that's really what what ended the story because they had other stuff planned. The whole that that's what became Dark Disciple. Um, yeah. But the book. Yeah, yeah, the book. But yeah. um, I know that they they've I've read some stuff which we'll talk about more tonight. When we uh, when we get into it, but um, that you know about that that they they want to address the whole thing of the book, so mm-hmm. it's coming. I, I do like you see? Coming. Do you see by any chance um, any continuity errors? Because I haven't read Dark Disciples. Do you see any continuity errors? No, this I don't know. It's just like they're like they they're not talking about it yet, so I don't know. Like like the the ship I know is different from what it was in the Clone Wars, but I mean I mean that's um. No. That's nothing that I can say is anything. Like she could change ships, but she I mean, could change. She could stole. She could have yeah. stolen one and brought it back. The only like thing, she said, the "I'm only here for me." As far as continuity, is the lightsaber. Okay. Um, the lightsaber hilt in that one looked more like uh, uh, Darth Maul's second lightsaber. That one yeah. that with the with the gun. It looked like a machine gun. Email. Yeah, it had the drill holes. Had the drill holes all over the place, right? Now yeah. she has the curve hilt. That's the only thing I could see. Which again, you know, they could explain, or they could just. You know, take in and rewrite that it doesn't necessarily have to. That's not the biggest thing in the world. Maybe, maybe she's yeah. like you. She has a collection, like like yeah, green right? bits, and she's like, ah, I'll take out the right? one today. True, you know, or maybe that she would be cool. her hilt back because this one looked more like her hilt from it the did. original Clone Wars. So the two D micro series, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Um, Extraction is still listed at the number one episode, top rated. Excuse me. Okay. Which is the episode which Wolf and Rex spoke for the first time. Yeah, yeah. That was to me. That was one of my favorites. That was yeah. that, that two part uh, thing was definitely one of my favorites. This one yeah. here, like I said, I, I built it up more in my head, and I wish I hadn't. Or may, maybe what I wish really would have happened is they didn't show Asajj Ventress in the um in the in the in the trailers. Had they not would have been better Ventress in the trailers, and then brought us this. I think I would have been a lot more excited about yeah. the, about it. Um, Even if you just heard yeah. her voice and you didn't see her, yeah, would have been like Asajj is coming. Asajj is coming. Yeah. You know, yeah. even when you heard, I think I think it was season seven trailer. Why are you here? And it was. I would have been so good. It. I would have been like, I was dying when I heard that. Yeah, but, but we didn't, we didn't hear been... anything about Boba Fett in Mandalorian season two, and look at the reaction right. I got. Oh yeah, you know, you're right. You're right. I don't. Absolutely. I don't think it was necessary to show us that it was. It was even and everybody saw it in the trailers. We all had speculation. There was all kinds. Every channel had some kind of speculation as to how this is here and how does this tie into Dark Disciple and all of this stuff. So it, you know, it just was a lot of buildup. So I feel like if they didn't show anything, then we would have all seen this and we would have been like, "What the fuck?" You know, she's yeah, back. Yeah, you know, and yeah. So that would have uh, that would have held a little bit. That would have given it a little bit more of a notch. But now that we saw it in the trailers, and basically we saw what we we saw in the trailers here, we know we're not going to see Asajj Ventress anymore. Or maybe she might come back, but I, I doubt. I, I'm she hoping she does. I'm hoping she does at yeah. the end or something. Um, because I, I mean, I wouldn't want this to be the end of her. You know that we're seeing her. But I misspoke, by the way. This is IMDb that has um, Extraction as the highest rated. It's actually tied with Shadows okay. of Tantis for 8.6 as the highest rating. And okay. those two are the ones of you know Wolf and Rex, but also also Shadow of Tantis is one that Emperor Palpatine. Emperor Palpatine, right? That up. was a great one too. Yeah, that yeah, was those, great, those were good episodes. Episode. Yeah. All right. 
Well, we'll do right. more about this tonight. So um, tune in tonight, 8 p.m. We'll talk more about this episode when we find whatever Easter eggs are on there and maybe delve into it a little bit more. Um, and then tune in next week if you're going to just come and check out the reactions as we delve into the next two-part episodes of the, of the Bad Batch. All right? Yep. So thanks for joining us. And until next time, may the force be with you.